What is up guys, it's FX here back with another video and today I'll be showing you guys how to set up OBS Studio to record videos. So first thing you need to do, open your internet browser and go to obsproject.com. That will bring you here to the latest version of OBS Studio. Click download. I've already downloaded it, but it will start downloading for you. Open it up, install it just like any other application you would install on your computer. Once you've done that, open it up. I already have open here. And you'll be displayed with essentially what I have here, except for you won't have any sources added, but we'll get into that soon. So first thing you want to do when you get in here is go to your settings. Your most important tabs are going to be output and video. So first we'll start with output and I left output mode as simple. Now video bitrate, this is going to be important for the quality of your videos. The lower bitrate you have, the more blurry your video will be. YouTube likes anywhere between 8 to around 12,000 bitrate. So if you're looking for an HD quality video, you're gonna want somewhere in between that range. I just go with 8,000. I think it looks good enough, so I stick with that. Now encoder, you have a few options here, either software or hardware. I use hardware because with software, my videos stutter. Uh, that may vary from person to person, but NVENC here is an NVIDIA hardware codec which I'm assuming will only work with NVIDIA graphics cards so do a little testing see how your videos look and pick what you'd like to use from there I would go with the NVENC if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and if not I would probably stick with the software but like I said do some tests and you will see for yourself audio bitrate I left 320 now I did open up these advanced settings here you just click this box here and it'll open this here for you so there's these are advanced settings for the NVENC or NVENC if that's how it's pronounced codec I started off with the default and I've only tested the default and the low latency high quality not much of a difference in between them honestly I just stick with the default the default works fine as it is so you don't necessarily need to even check this box at all now recording path this is where your videos are going to be saved so generally you would go you could just go in your computer here this PC drag this window over into videos and either you can make a folder here or save it directly into this videos folder but you could save them wherever you'd like. That's totally up to you. It lets you browse here. You could choose whatever path you would like to use. Now I left this setting the same. I left that unticked and I changed the recording format from, I believe the default is FLV. I changed it to MP4. That's just my decision based off file sizes. I wanted to keep the file sizes a little smaller, but I also wanted to maintain quality and also editing the videos I wanted that mp4 format so that is all for this page I don't believe I changed anything in here oh yes I did so desktop audio device that is gonna be your audio like your game audio or whatever audio is played on your PC so you'd like to select which device that is and if you don't know what device that is you go, you can type in down here, type sound, open that up, and check out what your default device is under playback. So here you see speakers, real tech, high definition audio. And speakers, real tech, re real tech, high definition audio, <laughs> tongue twist. So have that set to that. And then you have the option to choose a secondary desktop audio device, which I do not have selected. And then here you have mic auxiliary audio device. That is going to be your microphone. And I only have one microphone, that's my blue snowball. But the, once again, you go to recording tab here, check your default device, check all your devices, and select which microphone you would like to use, if you would like to use a microphone. And that's all under that page that I changed. And then video here. I set this, the base canvas resolution and output scaled resolution to 1920 by 1080p. That's to be your HD quality. 
And then I changed the downscale filter from, I believe it's set to bilinear, fastest but blurry of scaling, to Lanxos, sharpening scaled 32 samples. And then lastly here, we have what FPS you'd like to record your video at. Now, 60 FPS is going to give you better frame rate, and the video will look better, but it'll be at the cost of file size and if your system will be able to handle recording at 60 frames. So, I run at 30 FPS. I think that's adequate enough for quality, um, but that's totally up to what you would like to use, so I stick with 30. And I believe that's all those advanced settings. I don't think I changed anything in here. So we'll just uh, apply, okay. And now you'll be here in this window. This is gonna be your desktop audio. This is gonna be the volume at which your desktop audio will be recorded at. And then down here, mic, mic audio, sorry about that. And mic audio I have set to off. I was recording gameplay. So you can just set that to whatever you'd like also. And now when you open this up for the first time, you're not gonna have any sources. So you wanna add a source. Now I use display capture, but you can add, you can add a game capture if you like to use that. You can add a, a media source, an image, you can add a webcam, whatever you'd like to add, but you can just keep it simple. Just add a display capture, capture your monitor so we'll go into these settings real quick display zero that is this monitor you could capture your cursor or not but that's what adding the source will do it allow you to capture your desktop at least this one here display capture and then from there on you'll be good to go hit start recording it'll record your screen and that will be all if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below if you stick around, I'll be playing a short clip to show you the quality of the video using these settings. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. This has been ZFX, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.